Hey guys, I'm starting a new series aimed at ranking up all subscribers. The goal of this series is to get you guys out of Iron 1, through Bronze, through Silver and give you all the knowledge and tips you'll need to break through Gold. It's gonna be legendary. In this first video, we're going to be setting up your PC to improve game performance, specifically stuttering and micro stuttering in games, but also just lag in general. Alright, first up we have something called Exploit Protection. We're gonna go down to the Start menu and type in a exploit and select Exploit Protection. Go to Program Settings, Add Program to Customize, choose Exact File Path. Now we're going to look in Drive C, Riot Games, Valorant Live, and select Valorant.exe. Now alternatively, you could also go to System Settings and turn off Control Flow Guard CFG for all programs and all games. This depends on your comfort level. However, with a game like Valorant, you really don't have to worry about people hacking you through the game. Next up, we have something called Xbox Game Bar. We're going to go back down to the Start menu and type in Game Bar game bar controller settings and we're going to set this to off next up we have the windows power mode we're going to go back down to the start menu and type in power select power and sleep settings we're going to go down to additional power settings now by default it's set to balanced we're going to switch this up to high performance now alternatively you could bump this even higher by going back to the start menu type in cmd Command prompt. Now we're going to be copying and pasting this line right over here. You're going to find this in the description down below. And you can just paste this directly into the command prompt window and hit enter. This will activate the ultimate performance mode. It's not going to appear right away, but as long as you close the window and reopen it, you should see the ultimate performance mode. I don't recommend this unless you do have a high-end PC. And keep in mind, both the high performance mode and the ultimate performance mode will increase the response time of your CPU. However, this will keep your CPU running at 100% at all times. So the only thing I do recommend is turning off your PC when you do go to sleep, or if you're not using the PC for a few hours, either put it to sleep or shut it down. Next up, we have the NVIDIA settings. We're gonna to go to the system tray down here, find your NVIDIA settings, right click, NVIDIA control panel. We're gonna go down to manage 3D settings. The most important setting in here is gonna be called the power management mode. By, uh, by default, it's set to optimal. You wanna switch this to prefer maximum performance. The low latency mode should be set to off. Now your frame rate and your monitor technology kind of depends on your PC. If you do have a high-end PC and you are getting 200, 300, or 400 FPS, I would either uncap it, or you can set it to two to three FPS below your actual uh, monitor refresh rate. This is a bit controversial, so it's really up to you. Alternatively, if you do have a lower-end video card and you're not hitting about 100 FPS, I would suggest either turning on V-Sync or G-Sync. Next up, we have the startup applications. We're going to go back to the start menu and type in startup, select startup apps. These are all the applications that will boot up when you boot up your PC. Do turn off anything that you don't actually use. All right, next up, I'd like to talk about the shadow play feature. Now, if you hold alt and press Z, it'll bring up your shadow play bar. Uh, you could just turn off uh, instant replay from right here. However, this does not turn off the entire bar as it will always still be on and it will affect your game performance. So the best way to disable this would be to go down to the NVIDIA settings, right click NVIDIA GeForce Experience. Now on this little gear icon over here for settings, we will go down to the in-game overlay and just turn this off. Alt Z will no longer work and it will definitely improve your performance in game as well as your FPS. Next up, we're gonna talk about the Valorant settings. So while in game, we're just gonna hit escape and go under general. Here, you're gonna to wanna to scroll to the very bottom and you will wanna turn network buffering to a minimum. Under the video tab, uh, we're gonna go through every single one of these here. So resolution should be set to the same resolution as your monitor. The display mode should be full screen. I'm only running uh, windowed because of the webcam at the very bottom of the screen. For the FPS limiter, I would suggest to set everything to off. However, if you do want to cap it to 
uh, your monitor's refresh rate or two to three FPS below, you could use the bottom one here to limit your FPS. Next up under graphics quality, the first four settings on here, I recommend setting them to a low setting. This is gonna make the game a little bit brighter. It'll make it easier to see in dark corners and easier to spot enemies. However, if you do want a little more detail, you could go medium or even high, but here we're aiming for the best performance. So we're gonna go with low and it's a very small impact on the actual detail of the game. Uh, vignette, definitely set to off. V-Sync, definitely set to off unless you have a very old video card and you're struggling with that first 100 FPS. Anti-aliasing and anisotropic filtering, you don't need to max these out. I find that 4x is kind of the sweet spot where the game looks really good. If you go much lower than this, the corners are going to start looking a little choppy. Improved clarity should definitely be set to off. Bloom off as it will improve your visuals. Distortion also off should be set to off. There is no benefit to turning them on in this game. I can sh actually show you right now. If we turn it on and look at some enemies, you'll notice that the shadow underneath them is just a little circle. The actual shadows on feature will only affect the gun and your hands. You will not be able to see characters around corners uh, due to lighting effects, unlike Counter-Strike Go. So I would definitely suggest setting that to off. Don't forget to sub. Multiple videos will be coming up with all the info you will need to rank up in Valorant. Until next time, guys, have a good one.